what's going on guys in this video we're gonna talk about guard force ai once again that's guard force ai with ticker symbol gfai guys if you like the information and analysis that i'm providing you in this video please hit the like and subscribe button let's get going gfai by the time of this recording is currently has currently traded 1.30 which is up 8.33 percent today it's down 1.53 percent in the after hours which is 1.28 dollars this stock is up 14.04% in 5 days, it's up 66.75% in 1 month, and it's up 20.37% in 1 year. According to Fintel.io, the short interest for this stock is 14.85%. Off exchange short volume ratio is 2.2,998,644 shares, and off exchange short volume ratio is 51.98%. So, uh, what makes the uh, day exciting is uh, on April 8th, uh, Guard Force AI announces closing of uh, 10 million registered uh, direct offerings. So, it says here, according to Yahoo Finance, that on April 8th, uh, Guard Force AI Limited, uh, an integrated security solutions provider, today announced the closing of its previously announced securities purchase agreement with certain institutional investors to purchase approximately 10.0 million worth of its ordinary shares in a registered direct offering. Under the terms of the securities purchase agreement, the company sold approximately 8.7 million shares of ordinary shares at a price of $1.15 per share. The gross proceeds of the company from the registered direct offering are estimated to be approximately 10.0 million shares before deducting the placement agent's fees and other estimated offering expenses. EF Hutton, a division of Benchmark, Benchmark uh, Investments LLC, acted as exclusive placement agent for the offering. The offering of the ordinary shares described above were offered by the company pursuant to shelf registration statement on Form F3, filed with the Securities Exchange Commission and declared effective by and declared effective by the SEC on January 5, 2022, and the accompanying prospectus countered herein. The, the offering was only was made only by means of prospectus, su, prospectus supplement and accompanying prospectus. The final prospectus supplement and accompanying base prospectus were related to, relating to the securities being offered in the re registered direct offering were filed with SEC on April 8, 2022. So guys, this is definitely good news for stockholders of GFII. I myself is a GFII holder. So personally speaking, the only thing that is pinning the price action down is uh, the direct offering so as you can see uh, the uh, uh, you know the company itself uh, announced the closing of uh, 10 million the, uh, uh, the registered direct offering and that's good news so I think uh, uh, from now on I, um, the retail investors will uh, start uh, to uh, think twice and uh, uh, they, they're, they're gonna come back uh, in the stock again and start uh, investing so uh, what do we expect with uh, GFAI ahead of the trading day starting uh, uh, tomorrow so guys as you can see in my chart I have my uh, GFAI uh, chart here uh, as you can see in the daily time frame the uh, we actually gap down so here's the price from uh, April 5th uh, all the way to April 6th so in April 5th uh, it, it closed on uh, around uh, this area right up to 1.76 but it uh, actually ranged or it opened at a different price uh, during that day okay so uh, <clears throat> there's definitely a gap that needs to be filled so uh, personally in my opinion uh, this is a good entry point uh, because uh, once again uh, if we uh, have a gap uh, definitely that gap needs to be filled and it's just starting uh, now so uh, the price action started stepping into the gap um, so hopefully uh, this is the lowest price point that we could get uh, for this stock it has finally found its bottom at around one dollar and thirteen cents so the nearest uh, resistance that uh, we could see in the chart uh, in the daily time frame is around one dollar and seventy two cents if you go to your four hour time frame you can see here that uh, it, uh, the RSI has cooled off at around 54.28 today now uh, it should if it spikes at around this uh, area right so uh, let me see um, so in a four hour time frame you can see here that uh, we get a good price action at around this area 71.12 which is uh, not bad so it means that if we go more uh, higher with our rsi we get uh, more price action okay so and your stochastics is looking very good right it's uh the blue is right over the uh, the brown it's a good indicator for me that uh the stock is uh moving towards the upward okay now um as you can see the volume today is uh, around 13.84 million uh, the average volume for this stock is uh, around 13.38 million so we are picking up with the volume 
okay we're just uh, picking up with the volume which is really cool as you can see buyers are stepping in um, uh, ahead of tomorrow's trading day I'd like to uh, see more buyers step in to the stock in your 15 minute time frame um, you can see here that your VWAP is right above your 50 EMA but um, it's struggling to go right across that uh, 9 EMA so uh, and the next uh, and uh, your uh, 200 EMA okay so uh, each time that we go to uh, you uh, last time that uh, we went right above your 200 EMA it's been a long time okay so it's around uh, April uh, 6 okay so uh, that's in your 15 minute time frame so hopefully we can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, reclaim that area so it's around here one point uh, around uh, 1.32 Okay, 1.32, uh, we reclaim the uh, 200 uh, moving average. Uh, that should be really, really cool. As you can see here, uh, we tried to cross the 200 moving average twice, but uh, uh, I think it was rejected twice. So that will be my next resistance for this stock. Okay? So around 1.31, 1.32. Okay, so uh, guys, if you like information and analysis that I'm providing you in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Once again, it's your boy, Don't Leave Your Trades. I love you all. Peace out.